going on internet? Joshua Noel from Snook Film. Thank you for clicking on this video. In this tutorial, we'll be creating vintage labels inside of After Effects. So here's an example of what we'll be creating. For the most part, the animation is very simple, uh, but what you'll be able to take away from this video is a lot of the uh, design elements and how to set up the animation to kind of do whatever you want. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to create a new composition. Call this one main. All right, so let's go to the ellipse tool. And I am just going to hold down shift and click a circle here. And I'm going to go to my align window and I'm going to uh, click the two center buttons here to align the circle directly in the middle. And there it is. So the first thing I want to do here is go to add under my shape layer and go to zigzag. And that's going to create those rough edges. Uh, so open up zigzag here, uh, increase the size a bit, you know, maybe and probably keep the ridges about the same, lower the size. Okay, so there it is. We kind of have a nice little basic outline of our uh, rigid circle here. And I can call this one uh, label BG. Then I'm going to open up the stroke property and increase the stroke width by a bit. And make sure the color is at white. And there's that. All right, so now I want to make an inside circle. So I'll go up to the ellipse tool and I'll click and hold down shift, drag out a circle. I'm going to go to the align window and center that up. And I'm going to hit S on my keyboard to scale it down. And I'll just do that again and center it up. Okay, that should be all right. And maybe I'll scale it down even more and center that up. Okay, then I'm going to rename this layer to inside circle. And then we're going to duplicate this layer by going up to edit, duplicate. And then I'm going to rename this layer to lines. I'm going to open up this layer, open up contents, ellipse, delete the fill. And then I'm going to stroke one. Uh, use the eyedropper tool here to select this uh, color of dark gray. Um, then I'm going to increase the stroke width by a little bit. I'm going to open up the dashes by hitting the plus symbol. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to hit S on my keyboard to bring up the scale. Scale this down by a little bit. Center it up. So our basic background plate here is set up. But before we move on to adding more elements, I want to animate these lines. So I'll open this uh, lines layer up. Go to contents, ups one. Uh, go to transform and I will add a keyframe by clicking the stopwatch on rotation, move forward to around seven seconds, and where it says 0x, I'm going to type in 1. So this will uh, animate through. And you know what? I'm going to just uh, make those dashes a little bit, a little bit bigger so we can see more animation. OK. And then I'm going to enable motion blur for this layer. And then I'm going to pre-comp these layers. So I'm going to go select all my layers, go up to Layer, Pre-Compose. And we can call this one, uh, you know, Vintage, I don't know, Background, I guess. Click OK. And then what I'm going to do is move to 0 seconds, hit S on my keyboard, hit Scale. Zoom in the timeline here. I'm going to move this keyframe forward in time just a little bit, maybe 12, 12 frames, 11 frames. And then go to the first frame and hit zero on my keyboard to bring down the scale to zero. So here we have a basic quick scale. I'm going to select the last keyframe and hit F9 on my keyboard to create an easy ace keyframe so it kind of comes to a slow stop. All right. And now we're ready to start adding some elements to our uh, label here. But let me add in a background first. All right, cool. So now we have a little cool background in there. All right, so I'll start creating some text. So I'll go to the text tool, and I'll type in tutorials. OK, and I'll put this at the top here. You know, maybe duplicate this layer. And I'll bring it down and create, uh, or, and rename this to uh, Sunduck, or whatever you would like to use. You know, and then I want to create like a border around Sunduck here, like a little outline. So I'll go to Rectangle Tool and just drag out like a line here. All right, and then, you know, duplicate the layer. All 
Okay. These letters are clearly not centered, so I'll just go ahead and select each layer one at a time and use the horizontal center alignment. And that'll just center everything exactly how we want it. Okay, cool. And then I'm gonna go here and bring in my logo or whatever element you think would work for you. Well, I'm gonna quickly change the color of this by going to uh, generate fill. And I'll use eyedropper, select the dark gray, and I'll scale this down, put that in there. To me, that doesn't really look hard. For the most part, this is pretty much set up and ready to go. Uh, all we have left now to do is just to animate our uh, titles here. So what I'll do is I'll hit the tutorials, bring a P on my keyboard, hit stopwatch for a keyframe, uh, move it forward in time, the keyframe, to maybe like one second or maybe 25 frames. And then I'll uh, move the X position off screen here. And I'm holding down shift so it moves a little bit faster. And then same thing for Sunduck, hit P or the other text layer, keyframe the stopwatch, that forward in time, and I'm going to animate it off to the left here. And then same thing with the uh, line layers here. Um, I'm just going to hit P on my keyboard, drag those forward in time, and just animate this way. So as you see, these layers are all still on the screen, and they should only be coming on when they reach a circle here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, pre-compose tutorials and just move it into a new comp, click OK. Pre-compose Sunduck, click OK, and pre-compose two shape layers here into their own comp. And then what I'm gonna do is with the uh, tutorials selected, I am going to create a rectangle mask by going to the rectangle tool and just creating a mask outside of it and click subtract. And there it is, it just comes right on. And then same thing with the Sunduck layer, create a rectangle mask right around it, click subtract, and with the lines layer, same exact thing, and click subtract. So now, all layers come on exactly how they need to come on. And now all we have left to do is animate our logo here in the center. So all I'm gonna do is um, hit S on my keyboard, uh, for scale property, click a keyframe, move that keyframe forward in time, and just hit zero. And that will just come on like that. I'll easy edit this last keyframe by hitting F9. And now motion blur. And then I'm going to go ahead and pre-compose this layer. And I'm going to call this one logo. And then what I'm going to do is take the anchor point by going up to this uh, pan behind tool and selecting this anchor point and dragging it down here. Uh, then I'm, what I'm going to do is just hit, bring up rotation on my keyboard by hitting R and clicking uh, the stopwatch for rotation, move forward in time to when my logo pops up. And I'm just going to go ahead and rotate this down and move forward in time, rotate it back. So we're kind of creating, creating a little bit of a movement within our uh, label here. And there's tons of things you can animate. Uh, of course, you'll have your own elements and stuff like that, and there's lots of ways of doing this. It's just really the basics of how you can create something this simple. And you know, with that said and done, pretty simple stuff. All right, and then last two quick things we need to do is select all these layers and enable motion blur, and then make sure we t enable motion blur here at the top. So now we actually have some motion blur. Then what I want to do is I want to pre-comp these uh, layers and call this one Vintage Label. And then I'm just gonna scale this down a little bit so it's not so big. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, you can drop a comment down below and I'll get back to you. And you know, please drop a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. My channel is dedicated to After Effects tutorials and filmmaking techniques. And guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon.